I assume you don't have patience to wait for a pregnancy. I assume that you are addicted to peeing on a stick. Hey y'all and welcome back to our channel. Today I'm going to be reacting to your assumptions about us and I asked y'all on Instagram and here on YouTube and I got quite a few responses so today I'm going to be going through all of those. If you're new here to our channel, me and my husband are trying to conceive baby number two, our rainbow baby, and this is our seventh cycle. I have been sharing our trying to conceive journey here on YouTube with y'all, and it has been truly incredible. We have received so much support, but today I wanted to do a different type of video, and that is re reacting to your assumptions about us. We did get a lot of assumptions that were very true, and then some that were very untrue, so I'm going to be going through those today and reacting the first assumption is that me and my mom have a love and hate relationship and honestly this is definitely false. Me and my mama are very close and we have very similar personalities so sometimes we do clash because we are so similar. If you're like arguing we don't want to back down or anything because we have such similar like viewpoints and personalities. So we do clash a lot but we definitely love each other and I have always been super close to my mom. The next assumption is that I am a bit obsessed with trying to conceive and this actually is probably true. I do definitely think that I am a bit obsessed but that's just because it means a lot to me to have another baby. I have wanted another baby since Jackson was like probably a couple months old and he's two years now and we decided to start trying seven months ago actually eight months ago but we took a cycle off because I did have a miscarriage but I do agree with this that I am probably obsessed with it too much and I do try to not think about it as much anymore because that's not doing me any favors. The next assumption is that I want three kids total for our family and this is I kinda I'm actually not sure at this point because we have one son together and I definitely for sure want another baby and maybe another one so I would say either two or three. So this is kind of true, but I'm just not sure at this point. The next assumption is that y'all are great parents and I assume that your husband loves you very much. I love you guys, by the way. Baby dust to you. I hope you get your rainbow baby soon. Much love from the Casper family. P.S. I love your accent. Thank you so much. And I would say that this is true. We, I do think that we are really great parents and I do think that my husband loves me very much and I, honestly I know for a fact that he loves me very much because we have been through a lot and he has always stood by my side no matter what. We both love each other so much. I honestly don't think I could be a better mom to Jackson than I am. I really try hard to be good to my son, always be there for him and to spoil him rotten. The next assumption is that you are a natural redhead and this is correct. <laughs> Definitely am a natural redhead and my dad has red hair so that's where I get it from. I assume y'all want a large family. This is actually not true necessarily unless I don't consider like having two kids together or three kids together necessarily being large. I would say like having five kids would be a large family so I don't think this is correct. I assume you're the best mommy and going to be the best mommy to your other children as well. I also assume you're a very sweet kind-hearted woman along with your husband and little Jackson. That is honestly so sweet and I do think that I'm a really good mom to Jackson and I cannot wait to be a mom to another baby. I think that I will be a really good mom to them as well. I would say that I am very sweet and definitely very kind hearted. Jackson is definitely too but my husband on the other hand. The next assumption is that I am a very shy person when I first meet people but wild after I get to know you and this honestly I would say it's true. It does take me a moment to get used to people and once I warm up to people I definitely open up and especially with Shane I can be kind of wild. I assume y'all live in a very small hut shed like building. <laughs> what? I'm not sure like if they're saying like as if like as if my house is small or if I literally live in a hut or a shed like building but Either way, that's definitely incorrect. 
I assume you live in Alabama because of your southern accent. No, I don't live in Alabama. That is pretty funny though. I assume you don't have patience to wait for a pregnancy. Stop trying and just let it happen. You'll be less upset when it doesn't happen. I think that this is actually correct. I don't have a lot of patience for it. I just want it to happen now. But at the same time, we... I have said before we we really have not ever really prevented a pregnancy before and so i do have issues getting pregnant i'm not super fertile just saying stop trying and just let it happen it's it's not gonna happen if we don't actually try unfortunately i wish it would i assume that you are addicted to peeing on a stick and they are talking about taking pregnancy tests and this is Honestly, I don't think it's true. I take pregnancy tests for a reason because we are trying to conceive and so it is important for me to monitor that, especially because I am prone to UTI. But <laughs> I am prone to UTIs, unfortunately. If I'm late and I'm not pregnant, then that is probably a 100% sign I have a UTI. And if I go to the doctor quickly and get treated for that, then it doesn't really become that big of a deal for me. But if I let it go on for several weeks, I get really sick. I have a very high fever and get very nauseous. It's really bad. So it that's one reason why it's so important for me to take pregnancy tests. And because I'm, we're trying to conceive, so I do want to see if I'm pregnant or not. I think y'all assume that I'm around 20 years old, give or take, maybe. And that it's not true at all. I am... Closer to 30 than I am 20, unfortunately. I am 27. <laughs> the next assumption is that we are a happy family, and I definitely think this is correct. We are very happy. No assumptions, but y'all are so sweet. Love watching y'all. Thank you so much. You guys want a baby girl when you have your rainbow baby. This is actually incorrect. I don't really have a preference. Boy or girl, I really it doesn't really matter to me. I just want a healthy baby. But my husband wants a boy. <laughs> the next assumption is that we are going to try for another baby soon after our miscarriage. And this is correct, but not like super soon. We did take the next cycle off to just allow us time to heal. You have faith, but maybe don't go to church. And this is actually correct. I do have a lot of faith in God. I am a Christian but I have never really went to church, mainly because we have difference of beliefs in what most churches teach. The next assumption is you deserve a baby more than anyone. This is so sweet. I do hope that I can have a baby very soon. The next assumption is that you are very happy. P.S. Love you from Madison Mia 08. I am very happy. I'm a, a very optimistic person. I'm pretty resilient to things. I just try to keep positive and always see the bright side of everything. The next assumption is I assume you want to work but Shane prefers you to be a stay-at-home mom and this is actually pretty correct as well. I do want to work but at the same time I do enjoy staying home with my son. I have told Shane before you know if he wants to stay home some and I go to work, then we can do that. But he does not want to do that. He would rather he go to work because he can make more money than me. And he is definitely a workaholic. He would rather go work than me. If I could, I would. But I just don't really have anybody to watch Jackson for me. And I don't want to have to pay someone a ton of money to watch him when I don't really... I don't really trust a lot of people to watch him anyway. The very few people that I do trust are either working or they have other priorities. The next assumption is I assume you're passionate about YouTube and documenting your family and this is also very true. I'm very passionate about YouTube. I've wanted to do it for many years before I actually started doing it and I definitely when I set a goal in YouTube I try to like continue with it and just keep going forward and when I say I'm going to upload a certain amount of time, I try to do that. Just really treat it like it's my job. Take it very seriously. I love coming up with video ideas and editing is a lot of fun. I spend hours editing videos. I spend hours editing the thumbnails. Oh my gosh. I spend hours picking out music and editing the videos. It's, I do love it though. The next assumption is that me and my husband are the PDA couple nothing wrong with that and I honestly don't 
I don't think we are, to be honest. You fell in love at first sight with Shane. And this is true, absolutely. I, when I seen him for the very first time, I knew that he was the one that I wanted to be with for the rest of my life. We have been together for a very long time. You are Christian. That is correct. We are Christian. Y'all used to party. Definitely not true. You are the sweetest human on the planet. Love you. I hope that I am, but I, I try to be a really good person and just be kind to people. That you're super sweet and seem super fun to be friends with. I hope that I am sweet and I guess that I'm super fun to be friends with. I don't know. Uh, I really honestly have only had like very few like really close best friends and honestly every best friend that I've ever had has turned on me in one way or another so I don't know that you love life and love your family. This is definitely very true. You're very country. I guess I am. You've been dating a really long time. We definitely have been dating a very long time and we have been married for almost two years. I hope y'all enjoyed today's video and I guess we're gonna go now. I'll see y'all in our next one. Bye. I'm